The corporate press is the enemy of the people. So saith Donald Trump and also Michael Malice. Well, Donald Trump just says the press, I think, but you know what he means, the corporate press. Take a look at this article from QZ Quartz with their lean left bias, so saith ground news. We ordered the same gun used in Uvalde. Here's how easy it was. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you sophistry at its greatest. I'm just going to break it down for you before we get into this story. If you want to buy a gun, you can transfer funds online, but the gun has to be delivered to an FFL, a licensed firearm dealer to do the transfer. You have to fill out a background check form. You will get a background check. These things are real. But this is the game they play. Now, why is this? Why is it that Quartz has published a piece with no byline? Because the corporate press is the enemy of the people. These companies are lying to you to make money. They want you to click this story. Here's how easy it was. Because they know you, liberal viewer, did not buy a gun, have never bought a gun, typically. And they can trick you into thinking it is easy. It's lies and manipulation. And that's why they don't put a byline on it. You know what? There are many right-wing outlets that also don't use bylines. I'm not a fan. I believe The Economist also doesn't use bylines. Why? Who wrote this garbage? Look at this. No background checks till pickup in the tiny little text below the photo. Not only that, but the dude who wrote this also says assault rifle. They're lying to you. Here's what I, I, I ask of you. If you are somebody, you probably know guns. If you're, if you're conservative or libertarian, which is combined the bulk, actually only around two thirds to uh, you know, 70 or so percent of the viewers of this. So I guess there are many liberals who do watch. Uh, we did a poll on this a little while ago. If you know these things, you can sit back and say, yes, Tim, I know. And you can also say, actually, Tim, you're wrong about that. And correct me in the comments below if I get something wrong. But you can share this with people so I can break down how they're lying to you. All right. The game they play. How easy it was. As, after two, Tuesday's school shooting in Evaldi, Texas, left 19 children and two adults dead, we wondered how difficult it was to order a DDM 4 v, uh, V7 one of the two rifles the gunman brought a few, uh, bought a few days after turning 18 years old, according to reports. The answer? Whoosh, five clicks. Oh, really? They're lying. How easy is it to buy? You can order the rifle to an FFL, but you cannot. It, it, is, it is sophistry at its finest to say how easy it is to buy. To order. You see what they do? To order. No, no, no Okay. All right. Five clicks. Semantics. If you actually want to order, we're talking about when you order something, it, you get it, right? What they're talking about is how to request delivery to a federally licensed firearm dealer. The AR-15 style weapon made by Georgia-based Daniel Defense sells online for $1,870 plus tax. Shipping to a local gun shop is free. After clicking place order, we received an email confirming the purchase, promising to send a tracking number once the gun was on its way to the pickup point. Here's the best part. At no time were we asked for proof of age or of a clean criminal record, both of which are legally required to buy a, buy a firearm. <gasps> They're legally required and they didn't ask? Oh, wait, what's this? That will happen when we pick, the, pick up the gun at a local licensed dealer. They give you that one little sentence. But you understand from the framing what they're trying to do, right? How easy it is. Aside from that, it was a routine purchase, not unlike ordering a Lego set from Amazon or a pair of shoes from Zappos, except, of course, for the lethality of the product. When I order, I just ordered a bunch of cold brew Starbucks coffee. I am not a fan of Starbucks, but man, is that nitro cold brew good stuff. So I ordered a whole bunch for the office because everybody loves it. Yo, it tastes like you're drinking chocolate. Plus, there's no sugar in it. I am not doing a promo spot for that. I'm making a point. When I order this, a truck pulls up and they start chucking boxes at me. Big boxes. And the cans are actually fairly light because it's like nitrogen infused. So it's like a lot of gas in it. Yeah, that's not unlike ordering a Lego set. But when I order coffee, I don't have to pass a background check. When I order coffee, I don't have to go to a local coffee dealer that's licensed, fill out a federal background check form, and then wait to see if I can get approval for buying coffee. This is what they say. This is how they trick you. 
We knew exactly what we wanted based on a copy of the receipt the gunman shared online that was published by The Daily Dot, an Austin-based outlet that covers online culture. The Daily Dot is a conspiracy rage bait rag. But undecided shoppers can watch a video highlighting the rifle's features. Weighing just over six pounds, it's extremely maneuverable and a perfect addition for anybody's gun safe, according to the host. I agree. That's, that's probably true. Looks like a fantastic weapon. There are also reviews. All 46 for the DDM uh, M4 V7 give it five stars, including one that calls it a terrific weapon. Daniel, you know, I got to say, uh, Steven Crowder got, got me a SIG M400. Now, I've, I've got some uh, AR-15s and, you know, I, I, you know, the funny thing is the left, is, for those that don't know anything about guns, okay, if you're a liberal and you find yourself watching this video, let me explain. I have an AR-15. I have a couple. They're chambered in different rounds. One's an AR-15 style with 450. One's an AR-15 style with 308. One's an AR-15 style in 556 or 223. They are similar but different. I also have an M1A. I also have an AK. I have a, I have a, Ru- a Ruger. I have a bunch of rifles that are not AR-15s that are functionally the same, like one trigger pull, one round magazine, all of that stuff. AR-15 is not is 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 a, is a, is a buzz term. Okay, it's a thing, but. Anyway, uh, Crowder got me the SIG M400. That thing really was subs- like really good. I was impressed. Daniel Defense, which was founded by a garage door business owner in 2000, touts that most of the parts in the guns are made in-house. It's one of the U.S.'s largest privately owned gun manufacturers, according to Forbes. And then he shows, here's how you fill it out and all this stuff. Under Texas law, buyers of rifles must be 18 or older and have no felonies or domestic violence con- uh, convictions. And the federal government requires a background check. We didn't get any notices or warnings about that during the checkout process. And elsewhere on its site, Daniel Defense promises it is 100% compliant 100% of the time. You see what they're trying to do here? They're trying to make it seem like they bought the gun. They technically bought the gun. They paid for it, but they don't get the gun. They're trying to make it seem like you legally need a background check, but they didn't do it. No, you need a background check to get the gun from an FFL. If I, when, when I order something for pickup and it goes to the store, that's like that. You can't just get these things online. Now, let me tell you something. When you buy alcohol online, just like that, just like that, you you want, you want to complain about something? I'll complain about this. I don't like, I don't, I don't drink. Okay. But I like to have a selection for my guests. Alcohol is a big part of our culture and for human culture around the world. And as much as I think drinking is bad, I got, I got, I got booze for my guests. Now we go pick some stuff up sometimes, but there's also, you can go online and order it, which was shocking to me. Now I go to the liquor store to get it, but you can just get it. I don't know about all that, but maybe we need less government, not more. Texas Gut Experience, the local dealer we selected for pickup, tells shoppers to be ready to show ID and complete a three page form for background check, which is done on the spot via an FBI database accessible from the gun shop. That's it. We ordered a gun. It won't be delivered at our doorstep like that Lego set or a pair of shoes. And to take it home, we'll have to fill out paperwork for a background check. In fact, you can't order it to your home, only to a licensed dealer. Oh, still the fact that shopping for a firearm does not feel noticeably different than ordering those everyday items is a telling commentary on the prevalence of guns in U.S. culture. No, it isn't. What does that mean? You can look at an item and say, I'd like to buy it. What should it be? What do you think it should be when you go online? Should it be censored, like blacked out? Should there be like pictures of carnage where it's like, this is what you're buying? Or do you buy it and then have to pass a background check? I would like to address the uh, one of the guys at Quartz. I would just like to call you fake news because you put no byline on the piece because you know you're trying to manipulate the public. I would like to, I would like to, to say something, my friends. I would like to point out the corporate press is the enemy of the people and pull up this year's stream from Times Square, live from Times Square. Why am I doing this? Well, I'd like to give a big thank you to everybody who is a member over at TimCast.com who supports these videos, who shares these videos, because right now there is a 70 foot picture of 70 foot 70 foot picture of my face on top of the ABC News building. We got, you know, uh, we did the Taylor Lorenz thing with the Times Square billboard, and then I thought, Let's 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 actually do something. People said, "Why aren't you doing marketing?" So uh, I was talking to my good friend Carl Benjamin. You may know him as Sargon of Akkad over at the Lotus Eaters podcast. And I mentioned right here up top, you can see we got this massive billboard in Times Square on top of the ABC building. And he said, "Wow, congratulations, man! How do you track the impact of something like that?" And I said, "You don't, but that's not why I bought it. I bought it so that there would be a seventy-foot picture of my face on top of the ABC News building where they shoot Good Morning America." Half 
half kidding. I mean, it is real advertising, but that's kind of the point to assert ourselves in these spaces to be bigger than them. I am sick and tired of the corporate press's lies. And so see this billboard next to it. We got that one, too. That's coming soon. And we have more plans happening soon. This was starting light, a statement to the corporate press. That's all that I really need to say. It's a legitimate advertising. It's a great billboard. It's got our website on it and a picture of me for Timcast IRL. And it is right there on top of the ABC News building. So whenever their employees come into work or when they go out for lunch and come back, they can see that we are on top. It's a statement. It's a simple one. And maybe they won't care. It's just good marketing either way. But we want to assert that it's time that all of us start acting like we are in the, the media space. The media includes us. We are taking over and we are challenging the people who push these lies. Now, this story about ordering the gun, I mean, it's it's a real story and it's technically the truth, the best kind of the truth. But let's take a look at what uh, Zach Seward had to say about this. Zach is the editor in chief and general manager of Quartz. Hey, Zach, why is there no byline on the piece? Quartz staff? Okay, let's see what uh, NewsGuard has to say. 100 out of 100. Good job, NewsGuard. You email us telling us that we have to jump through hoops to get certified. You ask us about the bios of our writers, but they publish pieces under staff with no byline, and you claim they reveal who's in charge. Let me pull this up. They, is, it, is it not going to? Okay, so I got to agree whatever the terms of service. The site provides names of content creators along with either contact or biographical information. Well, that's just plumb not true when they're lying. The reason they put court staff, in my opinion, is because they knew anyone they put on this would be called out for lying. Here, here we are. Zach tweeted about this. He got ratioed. He says, a few criticisms leveled at this piece are worth addressing. One, some view it as a sick how-to for would-be buyers of assault rifles. I cannot stand these. These people are genuinely evil. This is not an assault rifle. Some, some people on the right, some libertarians, some gun advocates say there's such a thing as an assault rifle. There is. Assault rifle is actually an old term that makes reference to rifles with select fire, selective fire capabilities. Meaning, you can set it to single, burst, or full auto. These guns are all regulated under the National Firearms Act. Plus, there have been many revisions and advancements like the gun, what is it, gun Control Act of 1968, then Reagan's reforms in 1984, then we have executive orders in the 90s. Yes, there are many laws. Now, you can't ac actually manufacture for civilian use fully automatic weapons. They, in order, well, I'm pretty sure for civilians, you can't. Civilians, you can't buy it. If you'd like to buy something that is actually an assault rifle, it has to be, I could be wrong about this. Correct me, guys, if you know the, if, I think it's 1984, right? It's got to be pre-1984, and they're prohibitively expensive. They're, they're like 10 grand or more. You, it'll take you up to a year to actually get it. So this is the sick game these people play. They are lying to you, and that's why they're like, why do conservatives think they want to take your guns away? You've already banned guns to an extreme degree with the NFA. Suppressors, for instance, they don't make your gun go pew pew. They just make it a little quieter so you can be shooting out, you're hunting or doing whatever you need to do or indoors with less damage to your hearing. But it is loud. Depending, I've been told by some people that it's better for recoil and things like that. Sure. Why is that an NFA item? Because people like this lie to you. They make you believe that like in movies, it goes pew, 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 and no one can hear it. That's not true. They call it an assault rifle. That's not true. They want to ban every gun. Now, maybe people like Zach aren't smart enough to know anything about guns. And he's like, I don't want to ban every gun. I just want to continually ban the next wave of them because we've already banned the majority of them. Modern rifles have select fire capability, but not for civilian use. So they say the AR-15 is a weapon of war. It's manufactured. No, it's a civilian variant, not for war, because you can't actually get one. If you have special licensing, if you have a, a manufacturer's license, you can. Here's what he says. The point is to demonstrate that it requires how, uh, no how-to whatsoever. It's one thing that, what do you, what, what is your point? What should it be like? Should you have to fill out a, a questionnaire should it be like, if you'd like to buy a rifle, please tell us what is 87 times 396,524? Oh, oh, you made it a little harder. What, what, are you, what are you saying should be? What should be the case? 
You got to send in your ID and then have a waiting period. You already have to do that at the gun store. So basically what you're doing when you order this gun is you're getting a gun delivered to a gun store and then you're going to go pick it up and pay a fee. He says, two, others think we glossed over the requirement to show up in person at a dealer and pass a background check. We didn't. It's all over the piece. You have to show ID when picking up your online alcohol order, too. I don't know if that's actually true for the alcohol order. Again, pretty sure Zach is wrong. I'm pretty sure you can get alcohol delivered wherever. That's so crazy. These people don't do any research. They just want to shock you. He says fewer readers, but a few, think it's a dog bites man story or dog bites liberal who just discovered guns. But tell that to the half of our readers who live outside the U.S. and cannot just go buy an assault rifle online. It really is rightly astonishing to most people. Buying an assault rifle online, how would you do it? Well, you'd probably go to, say, uh, you know, one of these specialty reseller websites where, uh, you fill out forms or something like that, and then it gets delivered from a private seller or business to another store. But this is the game they play. You cannot buy assault rifles just like that. They are called NFA items. I guess depending on who you ask, everybody's got their terminology. And it's funny because like I'll go to a gun store and they'll say this is what it's called. And I'll say it online and people will be like, haha, Tim, you're wrong. It's actually called this. Whatever, dude. Gun people. Oof, so snooty sometimes. National Firearms Act items require a tax, a tax stamp. It's like a $200 fee. You got to fill out a big form and it can take up to a year. You've got to get fingerprinted for each item. You've got to go, go to a police department. Yeah, it is not easy. You have infringed upon my right to keep and bear arms. Joe Biden comes out and says things like, the Second Amendment is not absolute. You know, just shut up. I saw a good meme. And it said, you know, explaining gun control. And it was a guy and he's got a cake. And the person walks up and says, let's compromise. I get half your cake. And the guy with the cake says, oh, what do I get? You get to keep half your cake. And he's like, well, that doesn't sound like a good deal at all. It's like, well, that's what we're doing. That's the NFA. Cutting your right to keep and bear arms in half. They come back later and say, it's time to compromise again. Every single time there's a call for gun control, there, there, there is a compromise, a compromise, a compromise. The only thing happening is that the right to keep and bear arms is being gutted and destroyed. And you know what's funny? Republicans are so spineless that they never do anything about it. They just say, well, slow down there, Democrats. Democrats will be like, we want to ban guns. And they go, well, how about we just ban ba bump stocks instead? Okay. Then they come back a few years later. We want to ban guns. And the Republicans go, well, how about we just do smaller magazine sizes? Yeah, there's no opposition. I want to see Marjorie Taylor Greene repeal the NFA. I want to see Lauren Boebert. Come on, Lauren Boebert, especially. I mean, Lauren Boebert got famous because she was asking uh, I, I, she was asking about guns. Well, I shouldn't say she got famous for that, but she had a big moment. And she wanted she, she was the one who wanted to carry her gun on the Capitol. Repeal the NFA. Just be done with it. It's time. People have a right to keep and bear arms. And they're like, yeah, but gangsters were using Tommy guns and they were full auto. So what? So what? 3D printed guns exist. Banning guns doesn't make sense anymore. And it never really did, to be completely honest. If you want to buy, so, you know, I, I go, it, it, I don't want to speak too much about what I have personally, but I'm just going to tell you, it is not easy to just go out and buy guns. There was a video I did um, a couple of years ago, actually one of my biggest segments ever. Liberal journalist is shocked when she finds out she can't buy a gun. She said, I'm going to go see how to, get, how to get a gun. And she went to a Walmart, tried to buy one, and got rejected. And she was confused. She left saying, I wasn't able to buy it. I don't, I, how did this happen, you know? And it was funny. Because she thought she could walk into a Walmart and buy a gun. This is the one thing these guys don't tell you. You buy a gun online, right, for delivery to an FFL. You pay for it. It gets shipped there. Now you don't have it yet. In order to get it, you got to pass a background check. The gun shop can say, leave. You're not getting this. Talk, talk to them. We're sending it back. If you walk in and you're a weirdo and you're saying weird things and then you fill out the background check and the, the gun shop can just deny you. 
In fact, they're supposed to if they have if they think there's a violation happening. Let's say you take the you pass the you, you felt the background check form. You could get delayed. Now all of a sudden you don't know how long it's going to take. There's a, there's a law, five days. If they can't complete a background check in five days, they have to release it. James O'Keefe famously was falsely put on a no buy list, and he had to file a lawsuit. They can do that. They can just say, "Meh, you don't pass. You don't pass your background check." Can you do that with Legos? Can you do that with alcohol? I'm sick of the lies and the manipulation. That's what bothers me about all of this. The corporate press, the enemy of the people. So once again, we got a big old billboard on top of the ABC building. So they're going to go film their Good Morning America. And they're going to be they're going to be in that building where you can see it, where they shoot that show. I believe that's where they do Good Morning America. Either way, it's the ABC News building. I've actually been there several times when I worked for ABC News' uh, subsidiary, Fusion. And uh, after all these years, there we go. For the next month, that billboard will be on top of their building. And maybe it seems a little vanilla. It's like, okay, okay, Tim, you got a billboard. I know. You know, a 70-foot picture of my face on top of the ABC News building feels good. And maybe they won't care. I don't care. It feels good to me. And it's legitimate advertising. But this is just the beginning. Perhaps it is a bit vanilla, but we have got some plans. Culture jamming is marketing, and we are planning some fun stuff. We are going to send a message to the establishment elites, to the millionaires, to the millionaires and the billionaires, to the politicians. We're going to let them know you're not the elites anymore. It is time that you retired, you age out, and we are standing up to you and we are asserting ourselves in these spaces. I wondered why it was we don't see Crowder or other, you know, uh, bigger personalities doing something similar. But we had Cash Patel on the show yesterday. He bought a Times Square billboard, too, for his book, The Plot Against the King. The Daily Wire took took out a Times Square billboard as well. We are taking this ground in the culture war. So maybe we'll get some billboards up in Hollywood or something and let them know we we are are taking over your spaces and there is nothing you can do to stop it. Next segment's coming up at 1 p.m. on this channel. Thanks for hanging out and I'll see you all then.